match day today at St James Park, Newcastle United taking on Tottenham. I've just seen the starting 11 and my mind is frazzled. What on earth is going on in that pack line? So we are playing a right back in Emu Craft centre half. We are playing a centre half in Dan Byrne left back. And um, Jacob Murphy, a right winger, is playing right back. I'm so confused what the hell is going on here. Now, we're always going to be kind of screwed going into this game because Lewis Hall hasn't trained all week. Livermento and Trippi are both still out, meaning that if we don't do what Eddie Howe's done, you're playing Paul Dummett left back, who, of course, has dropped us two points against Everton. So we've got a lot of questions going into this game against what I personally think is an amazing Tottenham team. I'm a massive fan of watching Spurs play. I think they've been so much better ever since the so heavy came, which is quite strange because you think you know, they'll struggle without Kane, but no, they'll be much better without him. They've spent the money well, and uh, I think they've got such a good attack and expansive team, and it's a team that probably makes me twitch when I watch them play. I just think it's a, a hard team for us to play. In all honesty, I don't have any expectations today. I think it was... If you're going to ask me now, Adam, would I take a point? 100% I would take a point. I think if we get a point today, European football, I think, is definitely on the cards. I think we probably should be getting it with the fixtures after this. On paper, I think we probably should win every game after this, as mental as it sounds. I don't think we'll win all the games, but I think on paper, we've got more than enough in the bank to make sure we can get the job done. Hardest game left, Hearts Road kickoff. Maybe... Hearts Road kickers always tend to have freaky results. I'm hoping one goes in our favour today. I like Tottenham a lot, but we need to turn up if we want to get European football. We've got to turn up in these games. We've got to make sure we get the points on the table. Let's see how things go. I'm going to trust Eddie Howe. I'm going to trust this wacky back line. I'm going to trust that we can get the job done today. How are the mags? Hi, I'm Leo, and I'm from Boston in America, but originally came from Ireland, so love the club. Leave black and whites. So, how many times have you actually been to St James's Park? This is my first time here. Uh, we went to the Brighton match back in America, which was a great win, and so there's two in at the end. Time down here, you, you must be excited for this one. A good match against Tottenham. I don't know what it's been like getting across last night, but surely you're in a good mood for this one. Yeah, it's it's such a big match to be at. Like it, it's not a small club. I don't want to you know, throw that around lately, but. Um, yeah, Spurs, it's a great match and, you know, it's a great match last season and, uh, yeah, I'm just buzzing to see the team. Uh, I'm going to ask you for a score prediction. How do you think this game's going to go? It could be it could be a high score. I'm hoping something like a 4-3 would be, like, great and it's, like, there's going to be a lot of score and I know that. Um, but i take a 3-3 three, three, or, you know, a draw. Oh, high goals, at least six goals in a half. So it was uh, 6 1 in Newcastle last time, so I'd love a scoreline like that. But appreciate it, thank you so much, and enjoy your time in Newcastle. Yeah, I will. Thank you. Got a lot of Newcastle fans actually waiting for the Tottenham players today now. I actually quite like Tottenham a lot. I think they've done quite well with Solon Kane. They've actually looked much better without Kane as many as it sounds. But at the same time, they had those Kane funds and they had Harry Kane so it's going to be a serious team. But I will next see that man over there in Australia next month for our end of season friendly for some reason two days after the season ends. I still don't know why we're doing it. Or in financial gain. But big match against Tottenham today, and it'll be a big match against Tottenham in Melbourne, Australia. Yeah, 
he's, I don't know who that's sent off as he's absolutely sent that guy in his arse. Class by Gore and class by Issa. How many times have you said that? Put in his arse. That's oh, something done. They've tapped it again. Oh, They've tapped it again. Oh, the bottom part. What are they doing? What are they doing? Oh, are you going in? <laughs> the Netherlands. Yeah. I don't know who's passed the bag with top, but I've passed him down. Ball by Bruno. Yes! Oh my days! What an unbelievable ball that is! He's actually not missing from there, like. What a player! What a player Bruno is as well. Uh, we weren't hoping to see 6 1 this season, but I tell you what, they're still going to see an Arlen Bowers in scoring. Just haven't turned up at all. We have no look at that. No way, man. Oh, no. Yeah, Bruno, the pass of this century. He's on side, he's definitely on. What a goal that is. You see, what it's pass last season against the Brunos is just as good. Train back to King's Cross. Oh, greedy bastard! Cheerio, 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 cheerio. cheerio. Yes! It's four! Fabian Shaw, it's four! The ones that weren't going are going now. Ah, <laughs> I tell you what, I'd be happy if I was there, the only country in the fall, I could have considered about eight or nine. Oh, the wind's giving it large, considering the Aston Villa going to be licking their lips at that. It's happened again. Tottenham Hotspur. It's happened again. Ten goals conceded in two matches here. Yeah. The ball went. To be fair, the half the pump is down the open. 
What a performance. Full time of the St James Park, the Castanet 4, Tottenham Hotspur 0. No, can't believe I'm saying this, but it actually has happened again. Never in a million years did I think Newcastle would win this game. I woke up this morning and I had that sense of dread and thinking, oh, why is it this game? I just woke up and I thought, well, you know, Villa's dropped loads of points. Tottenham must be licking their lips at how Ashley Villa have been playing. You've got to think today, Newcastle have got their B team out. We've got a squad that has been just nailed down to the bare but we've got such a depleted squad and you think well actually well Tottenham are going to run riot today Newcastle just looks so much better than them I actually thought our performance today was better than the 6-1 performance last season just based on the fact that we had no subs to work with but our start 11 just played better than that 6-1 last season second half we kind of just took the foot off the gas but today we were relentless for 90 minutes on end and I think Tottenham were quite lucky to walk away only conceding four because I thought we were that much better than them I could have been 6-7-8 I, I couldn't quite believe how bad Tottenham were and secondly how good Newcastle actually were drop performance like that in there's no reason in hell why we shouldn't be getting European football in fact after a performance like that I, I'm putting my money on it Newcastle are going to get European football because you can look at our fixtures now Man U away is the hardest game next two matches Crystal Palace away Sheffield United at home you've got to be looking at six points in those games no, Palace away is always a fixture we don't take yeah! Newcastle just deserved it today, like, hey buddy, right? good. But I superb for most, I thought Newcastle just for minute one just looked like they are going to get someone out of the game and once we scored the first goal, Tottenham just scared up almost, it just looked so defeated. Hi Adam! Hello there, you guys. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Thank you very much. Uh, no, uh, that's on topic there though, 2-0 half time, you think, well, uh, you know, Tottenham are going to turn up second half, they're going to get something going, they're going to get a bit of a spark going, but Newcastle just all, all over them. Do you like body, right? You good? No, but I was, no, but I was saying uh, from the 6-1 last season, actually, I thought Tottenham looked much better as a team without Kane, but I thought Kane's probably the thing that they needed the day, they just lacked a strike, they lacked any quality in the final third, and to Brad Gutter, despite having a bit of a, a nervy game, in his point of view, just had nothing to do with. He didn't need to do with anything because De Bragg just, just handled it, the back four handled it, and Newcastle just continued to just to nip away at Tottenham, and then it became three, then it became four. It should have been more. I'm not going to go play because we won 4 0, but I thought Newcastle would probably be. Probably should have got more from the game there, but 4 0, brilliant result. I'm not going to keep banging on about it. Uh, I was very pleased with them today. You heard in the intro, I, I, that's my honest reaction in the intro where I was worried going at this game. I thought Tottenham would turn up, I thought Tottenham would, would cause some serious damage to us. They didn't at all. They were honestly, you know, like little kitten turned up today. I, 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 don't, I don't know where the Tottenham's went, but they just didn't turn up. And once again, those fans, it must be sick of coming to St James's Park by now. They get battered every single time they come here now and Eddie Howe. And, a player like every week there's come to be getting European football playing like that. I think we're probably realistically three wins, a couple of draws away from Europe. So let's make sure we get them. We've still got like a Burnley away, Sheffield United at home. You've got with these games. And, uh, and then some of the mid-range teams, the likes of Palace, your Brent for the last game of the season. We'll try and get European football as soon as possible. Make sure we've got it nailed down. You keep your likes of Isak Bruno and the club players who are again superb. Today. How good are these players? You say this every single match now. They carry our depleted squad. And Tottenham just just struggled so much with his uh, I can't stress how good of a striker he actually is. But yeah, I'm not going to bang on too much longer, guys. You know the score by now. 4-0 to Newcastle. Easy as day. We could have got more. Probably should have got more. Are we going to care? No, we're not. Once again, we've smashed Tottenham. It's happened again. Get in there, lads. Buzz